nous ne reconnaissons aucune légitimité. We do not recognize the legitimacy of the Putschist declarations, since President Bazoum has not relinquished power. And so, if we redeploy, we would only do so at President Bazoum's request and in coordination with him, not with officials who today are taking the president hostage. Well, it doesn't look like the people of Niger will be allowed the government that they want or even the government that they're fighting for. This, as we've seen, a report suggesting that France is amassing troops and weapons to reinstate their own preferred government in Niger. You'd also remember that the Sahel state is also embroiled in a standoff with the West African bloc, ECOWAS. As we speak, it's said that Nigerians are preparing for war against um, regional countries threatening to invade. And this is coming, of course, weeks after mutinous um, sh uh, sh soldiers ousted the nation's democratically elected president. We also know that um, residents in the capital of Niamey are calling for the mass recruitment of volunteers to assist assist the country, or rather the army, in the face of growing threat by ECOWAS, which it says will use a military force um, if the coup government does not reinstate the deposed president. There is a statement issued by Niger's military government on that. La France, continue. France continues to deploy its forces in several ECOWAS countries while preparing a joint aggression against Niger in cooperation with the West African bloc. Amidst it all, tens of thousands of people and protesters gathered outside a French military base in Niger's capital, Miami, for more than a week, um, demanding and calling on troops to leave in the wake of a military coup that has widespread support from the demonstrations that we've been all seeing. Protesters um, slit to the throat of a goat dressed in French colors and carried coffins draped in French flags and others carrying signs calling for France to leave the country. We had a chance to speak to some Nigerians who have expressed their full support for their new government in its standoff with Paris. We support our homeland and we are fed up with asking the French to leave our country. This is Niger and not France. And we don't need the French here. We are not going to give up. And they must leave because we are tired of them. We're going to show that we support the military. We want independence and integrity. Niger belongs to the Nigerians. We no longer need the French. During their stay, they did nothing to prevent terrorism, which means they're complicit. We came voluntarily for the defense of our homeland and to support the general and his men in Niger's liberation. Niger belongs to us. It is not for Macron. He has done nothing but cause problems for our economy and plunder the mining resources of Niger. We are cutting the link that has been in place since General de Gaulle. The July 26th coup, which is one of eight in West and Central Africa um, since 2020, has really sucked in global powers concerned about a shift to military across the African um, continent. And the most impacted, of course, is France. So far, it is um, its forces. France's forces have been kicked out of neighboring countries such as Mali and Burkina Faso since coups took place in those countries. And anti-French sentiment has risen in Niger as well since the coup, but have soured even further um, when France ignored the order for its um, ambassador, Sylvain eat it to leave the country as soon as possible. And we've also seen um, Russian President Vladimir Putin and Mali's military ruler, Asimi Goita, discussing the situation in Niger, saying that the political crisis sparked by the coup should be resolved through political and diplomatic means. While discussing issues of ensuring stability in West Africa and the Sahara Sahel region, the sides agreed on the need to resolve the situation in the Republic of Niger through political and diplomatic means. There seems to be a bit of progress in other countries um, that we're talking about, such as Gabon, where the transitional government at that side has even unveiled its new cabinet, marking a very significant development in the aftermath of the August coup that we have been seeing. General Bryce Oleguenguema, the former commander of the Republican Guard, has also been sworn in as Gabon's transitional president.
over the past few days with no particular time frame as to how long he will hold that particular um, position. It also seems like military crews in the African continent, particularly in the West and the Central Africa, is now the order of the day because you'd remember that it was first Mali, then it became Guinea, later Burkina Faso, Niger, and now Gabon. Also, uh, we have been seeing Burkina Faso having a failed attempt um, a few days ago. Um, we also heard that the Burkina Faso military prosecutor revealed that uh, soldiers were arrested for attempting to stage a coup in that country and were arrested for offences bordering um, of military conspiracy violation of orders, um, a conspiracy against um, the state security association of criminals and also endangering the lives of others. Just overall, Rachel, Africa has experienced more coups than any other continent so far.